Welcome to PC Mac. Today I'm going to install Nextcloud on our Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the help of TitePy. So let's do it. First of all, if you don't know how to install TitePy on the Raspberry Pi, you can go through my other video you will see the link on the top right corner just now you can click on that and check out how you can install Dite Pi on Raspberry Pi so now we will go ahead and start installing the next cloud on Dite Pi so how you can do that first of all let's check the IP address of our Raspberry Pi and it will be loaded in a moment it's right here 73 so let's go ahead and close it and open SSH 192.168.73 we are using putty here let's log in with root and the password from here we need to use tight by software it will open this console for us I just made a mistake it will open this console we need to go on to software optimized and from here we need to select the next cloud from here that is 114 we need to hit the space bar and then tap to select ok and press enter then we need to navigate to install and then press the tab button again and press ok to install next cloud on the dike pie it will take around 15 to 20 minutes so let's go ahead and press the enter button and then press ok it's an automatic process it will install all the packages that require by itself like the PHP the database MySQL and the web server it will automatically install these packages before installing the next cloud so you don't need to worry about those things just sit back and relax it will take around 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes to install everything on diet pack so I'll be back so all the software is installed successfully on the diet pie what we need to do is just click on ok and then right click here and then restart session let's go to login root and the password so I'm logged in now now let's go ahead and open the Google Chrome and type the IP address of our tight pie that is 192.168.1.73 to check whether all the softwares are installed successfully or not let's try to type the IP address 192.168.1.73 and when I hit enter it will take us to the default Apache web page that signifies that Apache is installed successfully so what we need to do is just click here again and type a forward slash and then next cloud and hit enter so when we click next cloud it will redirect us to the next cloud login page that is right here so the default username is admin and in the first video I have changed the password on the startup so I'm using the old new password that I have created at the time of installation when I will install the diet pie and try to log in and check whether I'm able to log in or not so as you can see I have successfully logged in to my next cloud let me just go ahead and click on next to show you next 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 and then start using so I am logged in with the admin user to my next cloud and as you can see all the things are right here you can click here to check the image the next cloud image let's go back and the mp4 it's also working let me close it you can see 
that everything is working fine now let's go ahead and click on settings and you can fill in your details from here and you can start using your next cloud with the help of diet Pi on raspberry pi so guys that's it from my end this is the installation of next cloud on raspberry pi with the help of diet Pi. you can do it by yourself it's an easy installation if you have any problem you can let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please go and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day